Hello, my lovely Capricorns. This is Debs and this is July 2022. How is everyone? I hope you're well. Cappy, I've just come out of meditation and I saw a woman who was trying desperately to get somewhere. It was quite an important event. It might be that this is somebody that she wanted to meet at the event. But every single road that she took was blocked. She went down one road. They were digging up the road. She went down another road and there was heavy traffic right the way in front as far as the eye could see. And she thought, oh, my goodness, I'm never going to get there. I'm feeling as if there was block in front of block in front of block. This woman has just felt really frustrated. Now, you could be a guy in a difficult, frustrating situation. This is just a vision. But what this woman did was she had a bright idea. She was going to be taking a shortcut. So she turned left off this road that had traffic as far as the eye could see. And she took a slightly different road. She took a side exit off this road and went across country a little bit and found herself able to get herself onto a highway. And before she knew it, no traffic. She put a foot down and she was suddenly on the move. And it was really, really, really fast. And she found herself getting to this event early. She thought she was going to be late. She actually got there early. So, Capricorn, have you been in a situation where you felt whatever you did, there was a block? Whatever you said, whatever you suggested, no, no, no. It could be a person you've been trying to get to know. It could be that simply you felt that you've been trying to achieve something, but everything you tried just wasn't getting you where you wanted to be. Symbolism, right? So whatever this is, Cappy, I feel as if you're going to find a different approach. You're going to figure out how to get where you want to get to or how you're going to be able to move forward with somebody pretty quickly. You may be doing things differently. You may be thinking outside the box. OK, yeah. OK, Michael's saying begin the reading. All right, so let's do this. Let's see what the cards have to say, Cappy. Mm, very interesting. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for being with us. This is the reading for my Capricorns. This is July 2022. Ooh, okay. There's a card that flew off the table and landed on the floor. I'm going to pick it up in a minute. Okay. Arnold is coming through. Cedric is coming through. Angela and Rose are with me. Yeah, you're going to be taking a different approach, taking a different route. You're going to suddenly realise, Capricorn, what might have been the sticking point. And you're going to be getting around that very quickly. As soon as you realise what this sticking point is, what the block is, you're going to be finding a way of overcoming that and then it's going to be fast movement forward. OK, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Ariel. Yes. Yeah. Whatever this is needs a little bit of careful thinking about. Mm, OK. Yeah. Yeah. OK. King of Wands. You could be interested in a king of wands. You could be a masculine energy sitting in the energy of the king of wands. Wanting to take action, but this is someone who is looking at the past. Now, Cappy, if this is you, you're looking at the past and you're trying to figure out why you've had so many problems getting where you want to get to. Why is everything blocked? Don't understand it. Really frustrating. There's an urgency coming through as well. The hermit in the reverse. You want to come out of feeling left out in the cold, Capricorn. With the energy of the hermit, you have been deep in thought. Why am I having to cope with all these blocks? I don't get it. You've been trying to figure out what the problem is. Mm. 
could be thinking about a Virgo, you could have Virgo in your chart. In the past, the Eight of Swords, you were very nervous about making a decision and you stayed in your head for quite a long time. After that time, with the Queen of Cups, you may have approached a Queen of Cups who was warm, loving, giving, very receptive. And what you're thinking about now is the past. So Capricorn, what you're thinking about is, I put all this time, energy and effort into this connection with the Queen of Cups, I feel. Things went well. Why now am I blocked? You don't understand it. Why are things now blocked? Okay. In the immediate future. Ooh, five of swords. You're absolutely determined to make this work with this person. But Cappy, be careful because this is a little bit of a pushing energy. It's kind of, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be with this person if it kills me. I'm going to push through this barrier. Be very careful because if you're dealing with a Queen of Cups, this is somebody very sensitive. This is somebody who doesn't like being pushed around. She will just run off in the opposite direction. Don't scare her off, Cappy. In your fears, five wands in the reverse, fearing you can't fight off the competition for this person. Fearing that arguments in the past may have caused this person to pull back from you. Ace of Cups. This is someone who does have feelings for you, Capricorn. But this is someone who is almost keeping themselves to themselves. Okay. In your hopes, hoping you won't have to walk away from this connection, hoping you won't have to leave this behind, because whatever you've been trying has not worked. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Capricorn, one of the blocks could be that you haven't been very clear in your communication, maybe about your situation. It could be this is what's making this person nervous. Maybe they don't know your past. They don't know what situation you're in. They may not know if you're even single. There's a lot that this person is unsure about. And because this is someone quite sensitive, what they've done is they pull back. And I think they're going to continue to pull back, even though they may suggest to you that they do have feelings. I'm just a bit nervous about this Five of Swords energy, Cappy. Because you want to come out of feeling left out in the cold. You're determined to take action. You may feel that this person has emotion for you. But it's as if they have withdrawn into themselves. And they're putting up lots of blocks. What I think you may realise, Cappy, is that this person may either have misunderstood you, your situation, your intentions. Because I think your intentions are good. Or simply, you have not been open with them. Maybe, for instance, you said, let's meet for a drink. This person doesn't even maybe know that you're single. Do you know what I mean? So they've been holding back. They want everything out on the table, everything illuminated. Because if there's been any sense that you feel you may not have been totally open about your intentions, which again, I think are good, this person is not going to move forward. Okay. Clarification. Five of Cups. Feeling as if you're going to have to walk away. Not feeling very confident. Because this person isn't confident. You may be dealing with an empress. Ooh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Capricorn is the block that you haven't been totally honest with your person, that you may either, either be dealing with parental issues, 
Maybe your mother does not approve of this match. And that's an issue, that's a problem that you haven't spoken to this Queen of Cups about. You know, my mom doesn't approve of this match. My parents are saying, no, no, no. If you're older, it could be Capricorn that you are still somehow legally connected to a codependent karmic partner that you have not detached from. And you may have kept this quiet. This person, if they are intuitive, because the Queen of Cups is very intuitive, they may have thought that was the case, even though you didn't express it, you didn't admit to it. And that's why they're holding back. Yeah. Wow. People. Empress in the reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Ace of Wands in reverse. It may be that the passion is gone with a person that you're in a long-term situation with, Capricorn. It could be that you met this Queen of Cups. You were very nervous about moving towards them because you knew this was going to be an affair. You knew that you were still connected to somebody else, but you're determined to be with them. But this is a, Cappy, I've got to be honest, this is a little bit of a selfish energy. This is you knowing that if you pursue this Queen of Cups, you're going to hurt people. Not only the Queen of Cups, but maybe your Empress, who may be sitting at home not knowing that you have all this passion for another woman. Ace of Pentacles. All right. Capricorn, what I think has happened is... You may have had issues with a karmic partner. It may be that because of that, you move towards the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. I think this Queen of Cups detached from you because they may have intuitively felt that you weren't being totally honest with them. I don't think you ever revealed the full truth of your situation was that which was you still tied to a commitment. I think you have been trying to get through to this Queen of Cups and every single time you've messaged them, wanted to see them, they put up big blocks. You don't know why because you know that they have not been told by you that you are in a relationship with somebody else. You may be wondering, well, how do they know that? They wouldn't know that. They couldn't possibly find that out. They may have used their intuition. This is somebody very intuitive. Or they may have done some digging on the internet and figured out that you are not who you say you are. You are not single. And they pulled right back. Now, I think the problem is, is that even though... This was maybe a one night stand, maybe a very brief fling that you had with the Queen of Cups, you two disconnected. You've realised that things are not getting better with your karmic partner. And you've realised that you now want to actually offer commitment to the Queen of Cups, who you feel actually has emotion for you too. But what I think you're doing, Capricorn, is that you are hotly pursuing the Queen of Cups without disconnecting from your karmic partner. It's almost as if you feel, as soon as I've got the Queen of Cups in the bag, is what I'm hearing, on my side, ready to move forward with me seriously, I will then disconnect from my karmic partner. But the Divine is saying, no, 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 Capricorn, that's the wrong way round. You should totally finish one situation first, heal, and then gently move back towards your Queen of Cups. That's not what you're doing. You're wanting to ruthlessly pursue your Queen of Cups, hoping that she doesn't know the truth that you are still connected to this Empress in the reverse, who may be codependent on you. So with the Ace of Pentacles, going back to that, this is what you're hoping to achieve with your Queen of Cups. But with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, this is you realising that this person is not going to be playing ball. They don't want to be put into an overindulgent situation. And I think they're putting up big barriers. With the King of Swords, Capricorn, you may decide 
that the only way around the situation is for you to be open and honest. Okay, let's talk about the truth. King of Swords, the truth is I am still connected to somebody else. They are codependent on me. I'm trying to get out of the situation because with a star, you want to heal the connection with your Queen of Cups. And you're feeling that now may be the time for you to be really honest. It's almost as if you told yourself, I really didn't want to have to admit this because it makes me feel as if my person's going to look at me as if I'm a liar. Because then you'd have to admit that you weren't telling the truth before. You'd withheld this information. But I think because you realise that you do want to be with the Queen of Cups and she's not playing, you do have to be honest. That's the only way to heal the situation, which means putting away that sword, not putting any pressure on this Queen of Cups and simply being open and honest. Now, what I see here, Kathy, is you really not wanting to do that. This is you pursuing this Queen of Cups relentlessly. This is quite a pushing energy. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you may be tempted not to tell her the truth. The truth is you feel guilt and remorse because with the Empress in the reverse, you are still in a connection with somebody else. But with the Ace of Swords in reverse, you have not disconnected from. But the Ace of Wands is you having had a fling, I think, with the Queen of Cups. So this may have started as an affair. You may have disconnected from the Queen of Cups for a period of time because maybe you were trying to work it out with your karmic partner. You're realising that's not happening, so you're going back to the Queen of Cups. But over that period of time, she possibly was very hurt that you just completely disconnected from her. There might have been no communication at all for several months. So you're coming back as if it wasn't a problem, that there was no communication you're trying to reconnect with her, but she now is very suspicious that you're hiding something. And you're realising that this has become an issue. So the way Capricorn to remove the block or remove her blocking you is to simply be honest. Which, of course, you don't really want to do. Okay, people, could be a complicated reading. Now, guys, you could be anyone in the mix. I could be dealing with a cappy woman who's sitting in the Queen of Cups. It could be that you are the Capricorn karmic partner, okay? Mm. So whoever you are in the mix, but I do feel I'm dealing with a masculine energy. Now, you could be a woman sitting in a masculine energy. This could be same sex. I don't know. So let's start. Let's begin. We start with, I think, you, Capricorn, because this is your energy. This is your current energy. Sitting in the King of Wands, you could have fire in your chart, you could have Virgo in your chart, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a Virgo. But the King of Wands wants to take action. Now, Capricorn, you are looking back at this Queen of Cups energy. You want to take action, you want to act with integrity, because quite frankly, with the energy of the Hermit, you've been feeling left out in the cold. This Queen of Cups that you were connected to in the immediate past wasn't playing ball. She was not playing ball. OK, she opened up initially and then I think something happened. There was a disconnect for a period of time. And I think you may have then realised time was ticking. You're late, right? You want to get to this person. But every single time you tried, there were blocks. I think she realised that you were hiding something. And that's why she blocked you from coming back around. But you might have been confused as to why. Because I think you knew that you didn't tell her that you were connected to somebody else in the past. So why would she put up blocks? Because she wouldn't have known. Well, she's intuitive. In the past, with the Eight of Swords, you were in your head as to what to do. Because I think you met this Queen of Cups, felt a very strong pull but knew that you were still connected to this empress in a reverse. And so you had to think how to manage this. Eventually, you did spend time with the Queen of Cups. She was open, loving, giving. I think she was quite naive at the time. She possibly thought you were single. And you two had a connection. I don't think it lasted very long because I think maybe your empress in a reverse got the wind up 
that you were interested in somebody else and they may have pulled you back to them. Maybe this is the time that you, you thought of one, whether you should sort things out with your karmic partner. Now, what I think happened, you realised you couldn't get the Queen of Cups off your mind and your karmic partner became even more difficult to deal with, possibly because she was jealous, realising that between the time that you and your karmic partner were maybe separated, maybe you had a series of arguments, you had become interested in another woman. So, of course, she was even more difficult to deal with. Not fun for you. So you headed back to your Queen of Cups. And what you're thinking about now is Seven of Pentacles. I put time, energy and effort into the connection with my Empress. I don't think I'm really ready to let that go. There could also be, of course, a fair amount of financial investment that you made in this connection with your karmic partner. But you feel left out in the cold. You're very unhappy in that partnership and you are determined to pursue, again, your Queen of Cups. She opened up to me before, so why won't she do the same again? Well, because she's figured out that you're not single, that you may have kept that from her. Michael, when have you got the Five of Swords in the immediate future, please, for my Capricorns? Thank you, Michael. Soon, okay, all right. Ooh, okay, 12th of July, very soon. Okay, 12th of July. He's pointing forward, ooh, to the 21st of July. Not very long. So guys, we're looking at a period of a few days, just over a week. You are trying again. <laughs> I'm hearing third time lucky. You're trying again. Five of Swords. Can we talk? Can we meet up? When you're available, you're trying again. But Cappy, this is a very challenging energy you're sitting in because this is you determined to get this Queen of Cups to open up to you. And it could be because you know she has feelings for you because she sat in the Ace of Cups. She does have feelings for you. She does want a relationship with you. But she's putting up boundaries because she knows, either intuitively or having done some research on you and your situation, that you are not single. So she may admit openly, yes, I do have feelings for you. But if you press her and say, well, why don't we meet up? Can I come and see you? She's going to say, I don't think that's a good idea. And that's you realising that she's found out that you lied. Now, you may be very defensive. You may be very angry with her, OK? But the reality is you're just highly embarrassed, mortified, knowing that she knows that you lied. So this is a very challenging situation. So she is going to admit that she has feelings for you. But if you pursue her in this way, which is my way or the highway, I am determined to be with this Queen of Cups, you're going to find she puts up more boundaries. There is an easy way around this, Cappy. And that is you being truthful and honest. Okay? It's the only way she's going to respond to you again. What you're fearing is with the Five of Wands in reverse, maybe she was upset. Maybe there were issues in the past with the Queen of Cups. You're fearing that any issues that you two had in the past are going to flare up again. Hmm. Because your situation has not changed. And she may have found out. What you're hoping is that with the Two of Cups in reverse, you don't have to let this go. Because I think you feel a very strong soul connection with this person. But you're dealing with somebody who's sitting in high vibe energy. She's extremely intuitive. And she does not want to be juggled with a karmic partner just to make you happy. I'm hearing just for your entertainment. No, no, no. Way too much self-worth and self-respect. Now, Cappy, the final card is difficult because with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you are not telling the truth. You're withholding the truth because I think that this is you not wanting to face expressing to her your true situation because she would then turn around to you and say, well, obviously you lied to me in the past. And you're worried that if she knows that you lied to her in the past, you're going to lie to her in the future. And the relationship is totally over. So you're trying to get her 
on side without revealing your true situation with the view that if you two really get on, you would then possibly disconnect from your empress who's codependent on you and being very difficult. So you're straddling the fence, Kathy. So here we go, clarification. Five of cups. I mean, this is a card of guilt, remorse, regret, because, because, Sitting at home somewhere, you have the Empress in the reverse, a codependent karmic partner who is disinterested in a relationship. With the Ace of Swords in reverse, you lied to this Queen of Cups. You made out that you were single when you were not. And this is you feeling stressed because with the Ace of Wands in reverse, you had an affair with the Queen of Cups. You may have realised she found out it was just a fling and that you were actually still connected to a long-term partner. And this is you feeling guilty because you know you lied, you know this was a one night stand or an affair and you know that you're still connected to a karmic. So this is you feeling a bit guilty but you're determined to not apologise and you're determined to keep the truth from this Queen of Cups if it kills you. I'm never going to express that I lied, never going to do it, okay? But the thing is, is that Cappy, with the Ace of Pentacles, you know that you want to be with this Queen of Cups. You actually want to start a relationship with this Queen of Cups. But with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, this did start as an overindulgent situation. This was a fling. And she's not playing. She does not want to be put in a third party situation maybe again. With the energy of the star, you are hoping to heal the connection with the Queen of Cups in order to make things nice and balanced. So that she will be waiting for you when you disconnect from your Empress in the reverse. But the Divine is saying, Capricorn, King of Swords, you have to be open and honest to your Queen of Cups. Otherwise, she's just going to keep pushing you away. If you can do that, the block will be removed and it may well be that you make fast progress with your Queen of Cups. Now, guys, I've just looked down on the floor and I forgot to show you the card that fell out of the deck at the beginning of the reading. And it was the Four of Swords in the reverse. So you're heartbroken, Cappy, and you want to take action to bring this Queen of Cups back into your life. So on that note, let's get into this and see what else we can get through for you, okay? Are you going to be ready to speak the truth in order to get things moving with your Queen of Cups? Or are you going to continue to hide the fact that you're still in a relationship with a karmic partner? Let's see. Archangel Michael, what is the energy, please, of the King of Wands crossed with the Hermit in the reverse? Yeah. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Cappy, you know that previously you couldn't offer the Queen of Cups a commitment because unbeknown to the Queen of Cups at the time, she may not have realised you were with anyone else at the time, but then and still now you're with somebody else. So you couldn't offer a commitment. What else is on Capricorn's mind? Okay, so you're thinking if you can come in with the Knight of Cups energy, with a lot of love, passion, emotion, affection, it's going to be enough to bring this Queen of Cups back to you. That's your game plan. You want to take action. Yeah. So with the Two of Wands, you've actually made the firm decision that you want to leave your karmic partner. I think you were sitting on the fence before, but you've decided you want your Queen of Cups. So you may be making a move back to her. Michael, what happened in the past with the Eight of Swords? Let's just touch on that. Let's just touch on that. The Tower. Wow. Okay. So there could have been a Tower moment with your karmic partner, Scorpio or an Aries. But there was a shock. It may be that she said to you that things weren't working out, that she felt she wanted to divorce. But there was a tower moment, I think, in your relationship or 
The tower was meeting this Queen of Cups that you did not expect to fall in love with. And you went through a tower moment. Well, what am I going to do now? Because I'm in a relationship with somebody else. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So we're now moving to the energy of the Queen of Cups. She was warm, loving and giving in the immediate past. Yes. And you wanted to hang on to this person, but you didn't tell her the truth. This is you withholding information and hanging on to your money. What was Capricorn thinking about in the immediate past? The moon. You may have been thinking about a Cancerian. Or you could be thinking, I've got to keep my current situation under wraps because I'm never going to be able to keep her in my life. She's just going to head off with somebody else if she knows I'm in a relationship with another woman. So you hid your true situation. Yeah. And what was Capricorn's true situation with the emperor that you were married? Yeah, that's husband energy. So you hid the truth that you were actually married to a codependent karmic partner that you were not getting on well with. Michael, what is the Seven of Pentacles? What you're thinking about now, Cappy, is moving towards your Queen of Cups again, expressing love, hoping that she'll relent and you two can start a relationship whilst you think about disconnecting from your karmic partner. But I don't think she's going to play ball. So you're thinking about money, your stability, or you're looking at the past, reviewing all the investment you've made into your connection with your karmic. So what is the Seven of Pentacles that Cappy's thinking about? Yeah, Six of Swords. So I think you may be dealing with two situations in two different areas. Okay, this could be distance. It could be with the Six of Swords, you're hoping to keep your money and simply develop an ongoing affair situation with your Queen of Cups, keeping it under wraps that you are actually in a long-term situation with this other woman. Yeah, yeah. You may be dealing with a very unbalanced Scorpio or with a death card in reverse, you're thinking, well, I could keep the money. If I don't, have, if I don't divorce, I could keep my finances stable. And this is you thinking, I'll just undertake an affair and not end the situation with my karmic partner because I'm going to lose money. I don't want to lose money. But I feel I could sweet talk this Queen of Cups in having an ongoing fling with me. That's your game plan. Okay. Sorry, guys. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mm. Seven of Wands. This is you, very defensive, Capricorn. So you may have been a bit defensive in your attitude. Okay. What is the energy of the Five of Swords? Let's see. I think you're wanting to pursue this Queen of Cups. Yeah, world in reverse. The energy between you and the Queen of Cups portray portrays the fact that it's not over. You don't want it to be over. But you also haven't ended things with your karmic partner. What else is on Capricorn's mind? What else is on Capricorn's mind? Eight of Wands in reverse. That you haven't actually spoken the whole truth to the Queen of Cups. You've withheld communication. Yeah. Because what you intend to do is not tell her the truth and simply move towards her to romance her, right? To charm her into starting another relationship with you. But you are sat in the Seven of Swords. You're being strategic about it, Cappy. The High Priestess flipped over. You could be connecting to a Pisces. Or this is you... Keeping your current situation secret, hoping that the Queen of Cups will think that you're single. But I think you're realising that she's going to cotton on. This is a very intuitive woman that you have not been honest. Mm. 
Yes, the secret is Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. You're a married man. And you are determined to stay married for your, for your financial security. It's an age-old situation. What else is on Capricorn's mind? Ten of Cups. You could be thinking about your long-term situation. You could be thinking that you could live a very happy life with your Queen of Cups. Lots of love, lots of affection, lots of passion. It will be a very different relationship to the one that you have at present with your karmic partner. Yeah, three of wands. The only reason, Cappy, that you, I feel, were able to get away with this up until now is that you could have lived a distance from your Queen of Cups. Different state, different city, different country even. So it would have been difficult for her to come to where you are to see your true situation. Which could be that you're still living in the same house as your Empress in the reverse that you're not getting on well with, but you're still married to. So you're waiting for your ships to come in, feeling very confident that if you hotly pursue your Queen of Cups, she's kind of going to give in. She's going to relent eventually. If I tell her I love her, she's going to say yes. I'm not so sure that's the problem, because even though she does have love for you, she's absolutely convinced at this point that there's something going on that she feels very uncomfortable about. Yeah. Yeah. It's taking a lot out of her, but she's holding back from you because this is someone who wants to be respected. I'm just getting the word respect. She wants you to respect her. And with you rushing towards her, having lied, she's holding back. She could be a Leo. She's holding back. Wow, cars are flying. She's holding back. Yeah. She's had the wake-up call, Pisces energy again. She's been in the dark and she's got the wake-up call that you are actually not a single person. She's seeing the truth very clearly, that you're rushing towards her, wanting to develop a relationship with her, but you're lying. You're lying. Yeah. She doesn't think that you're going to offer her commitment. She doesn't think it's going to go anywhere because she feels this is simply a third-party situation. Capricorn. Nine of Swords. She was stressed about this. So you hurt her badly, Cappy, by lying, by not being honest, by disconnecting. She doesn't want to feel like this anymore. She doesn't want to feel upset and heartbroken and mortified that she believed you to begin with. She's holding back. She's using every ounce of strength she has to put up boundaries. Yeah. Yes, she's already started healing from heartbreak due to the fact that she's found out this is a third party situation. What's her reaction going to be relating to Capricorn coming back in? Seven of Cups in reverse. She's going to say, Capricorn, I came out of confusion. I realised you weren't honest with me. It broke my heart and I'm not interested in moving forward with you. Cards on the table time. Yeah, Four of Wands in the reverse. I don't think you want to build a relationship. I don't think you're offering me anything committed. I think you're just messing with my head. I think you're being overindulgent. I think you're being selfish and I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Wow. Yeah, I do not want to get myself into a toxic situation that's based on lust, greed, passion. I'm not interested. You take your toxic energy and pursue someone else. She's going to let you go. Capricorn in the reverse. Wow. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Yeah. Six of cups in the reverse. There is no going back to the past. 
there is no reliving what you had with this Queen of Cups in the past, Capricorn, because she's cottoned on that you lied. And she's not having any of it. Now, the divine is saying the only way you can heal this connection is by speaking the truth and offering commitment to the Queen of Cups. She is not going to accept an overindulgent situation. I don't know, but with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you're still not telling the truth. What is that about, Michael? Mm, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo energy. You are manifesting, keeping the truth hidden. You're, ma you're doing everything you can to prevent this Queen of Cups knowing the actual truth. So if you feel she's just intuited that you're in a relationship, you're going to behave as if she's out of her mind. She's crazy. Of course, I'm not in a relationship with somebody else. Mm, but she feels that you are. Yeah, chariot. It could be that you feel that you can get away with this because this is a long distance connection with the Queen of Cups. She'll never know because she doesn't live in my area, right? It could be that she is a Cancerian and this is someone that you're determined not to tell the truth to because the chariot in this deck is somebody who is not being able to choose between two people. And so you are simply thinking to hell with it. I'll just have both. But you're realising if you move forwards towards this Queen of Cups, not telling the truth. She's not going to proceed with you. And you're realising you could be driving straight into a very bad storm. Basically, she may be telling you where to go, Capricorn. What is Capricorn manifesting? Ten of Pentacles. You're determined to keep the money in your long-term situation and to hold back the truth. Wow. Judgment. You could be in a relationship with a Sagittarius or the Divine is saying, we're calling Judgment Day, Capricorn. You can't do this. This is overindulgence. This is toxic energy. You're sitting in your shadow side. You can't have everything you want. You can't have it your way. We're going to block it. You have to tell the truth. So they are asking you to face Judgment Day. Oh yeah, look at that. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You are not going to be able to proceed the way you want to, we are blocking this. We are forcing the wheel to stay stagnant. We are not going to allow you to progress with this. If you try to move forward towards this Queen of Cups and lie, we're not going to allow you to be successful in doing this. You're going to have to speak the truth and then you can have your wish. What is Capricorn going to do? Okay, card flew out of the deck, guys. Page of Pentacles. Now, Capricorn, you could either say to the Queen of Cups the truth, which is, mm, I am still married, but it's a very cool partnership and I'm going to get divorced. Or, hmm, you could try halfway house with your Queen of Cups. You could say to your Queen of Cups, I just want to be friends with you. Can we just be friends? But I think the Divine is calling you out because they know that this is you possibly just trying another tactic to get back into the Queen of Cups life. What is Capricorn going to do? What is Capricorn going to do? Page of Wands in reverse. You're going to watch this Queen of Cups, but not communicate that you're attracted to her. You're going to pretend that you just want to be friends. Let's just be friends. It's fine. OK, if you're not interested in me in that way, let's be friends. Hoping that she's going to relent, knowing that you're both attracted to each other. So this is you, again, being strategic. 
What is Capricorn hoping for? Yeah, the lovers in reverse. So you're basically hoping to move this friendship into an ongoing third party situation, Gemini energy, because you have a codependent karmic partner coming through as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that maybe you're going to lose money trying to get out of. And this is also you knowing that you can't offer the Queen of Cups commitment. This is you offering a third party, not commitment. But you're wrapping it up in the energy of we can just be friends. Let's just stay in touch. Let's see each other now and again. But you're hoping that eventually, because of your attraction for each other, she will eventually relent and it's going to turn into friends and benefits and then a full-blown affair. And before you know it, you've basically got what you want. But Cappy, this is very difficult for me to read because I'm dealing with a man here or a woman, you know. But I think I'm dealing with someone here who is being very manipulative, very manipulative. You want it all, Cappy, but the divine is calling you out. What is going to happen for Capricorn? What is going to happen? Yeah, wow, five of pentacles. So I think the Queen of Cups is going to leave you out in the cold. She's not going to be opening up to you. Yeah, oh my goodness, guys, I'm sorry. Ten of swords, ten of swords. You're going to realise that she's figured out what your situation is and it's going to come to a very painful end. Why, Michael? Why, why, why? Because with a page of swords in reverse, you lied. You lied. What else can I say? Do we have any more information based on Capricorn's karmic partnership? Karmic partnership. Ten of Wands. So I think, Capricorn, you are going to stay in this karmic partnership. You're stressed, you're burdened. You know that it should come to an end, but you're determined to keep hold of it. You're determined to stay in that connection. Yeah, justice. You're going to stay in your legal contract. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Hierophant. It may be that not only you're married, but you could have a very strong religion and it may be difficult to get out of a marriage. You could be married to a Taurus. You're staying married. What is Cappy going to do? The Fool. Cappy, I've got to be blunt. I think if the Queen of Cups doesn't play, you're just going to move on to another woman. You want your freedom within a marriage. And I think that you may well be in the future pursuing an Aries or a Libra. You may have better luck with an Aries or a Libra. Or maybe a Taurus. But I see you staying in your long-term commitment and acting single, basically. So I think even though you have feelings for the Queen of Cups, you're going to realise she's not going to give you what you want. And I think you're simply going to move on to another woman who may be happy to have an affair with you. She may be more conducive to that. Even though the divine is saying you could be with your Queen of Cups if you told the truth and if you did the right thing. But I don't think you want to lose your financial security within the marriage that you're presently tied to. So guys, very difficult. Yeah, Nine of Wands. I mean, the marriage really should come to an end because you're sitting in the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. But I think you're determined to hang on to it. And I think all you're going to do, Cappy is sit in the Knight of Wands and go out and have affairs. You know? So, oh, challenging reading, guys, but I can't change it. That's what we have. So it's going to hit someone out there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.